Hello YouTube, uh, this is Ham Radio Reviews doing another video today on um, the Baofeng UV5 uh, I'm sorry uh, on the Baofeng UV82 um, this is supposedly an 8 watt model uh, please note that this is not labeled is the UV82 HP which uh, which is has been around for around uh, two years I think or maybe more than a year uh, this is just a simple UV82 Baofeng marked and sold as an 8 watt this uh, is from my uh, this battery is from the UV82L I had which is right here actually uh, now let's see a couple of differences and do a power test on this one uh, because uh, I have the um, I think it is not an 8 watt uh, radio uh, of course it is a, a, a very nice upgrade to the older UV82L um, now let's turn it on ok here is the firmware version um, <clears throat> let's check the battery voltage here uh, the older version has an older firmware uh, which does not state here when you when you press and hold the three key it says copying when you turn it on I'm not sure what that is I think it's for cloning or, thing, or something like that um, if you see here uh, Pressing this, the zero on this one, does nothing. It does not show the battery voltage. This is the older version. It's it, this one is advertised as five watts. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's get to the uh, power test. I have uh, the uh, Nisei RS40 uh, here, uh, connected to a mobile antenna uh, outside uh, at the balcony. Let's do this. Let's put it to, it is in the lower setting and uh, SWR first to make sure everything is ok. Ok, I need to change the cable, be right back. Ok, this is the correct cable, let me screw this to the power meter here. Ok, now let's see. Here it is on low. Um, let's uh, begin with the low setting at uh, on two meters first to see, check. ESWR is uh, the needle barely moves. Okay, now let's <coughs> switch to power. Okay, two meters low setting it's uh, a bit more than one watt here if you see the needle here a little bit more than one watt okay let me zoom zoom in a bit here okay this is I think this is better uh, now let's go to high power on two meters now it should be 8 watts or at least close to 8 watts no it's almost 4 it's not even 4 if you see that here it is almost 4 so this is not an 8 watt radio uh, I didn't show you the, the, the label the back here here if you can there we go, the label here says 8 watts ok 8 watts let's put the battery back in ok let's try it on uh, 70 centimeters in case 70 centimeters low power first that focus here around 1 watt and a half on low power uh, let's uh, put it on high power 
yes we're on high power a bit more than 5 watts on 70 centimeters okay that is nice although it is a bit unusual that having more power on 70 centimeters uh, let's just to make sure let's check the SWR here on high okay it moves it's almost one a uh, one to one point one that's excellent okay uh, now I will do the test with a battery eliminator connected to a 12 volt power supply to make sure that uh, um, uh, it outputs uh, to, to see if it outputs uh, the uh, 8 watt uh, it uh, claims to output uh, connected to a 12 volt power supply back with you in a moment okay I have the battery eliminator here it's the same radio here we go here we go it is the 8 watt mode let's plug the battery eliminator here I'm connecting it I'm not connecting it to a power supply I'm connecting it to a um, Chinese um, uh, battery bank uh, jump starter I got this outputs 12 volts here uh, there's no reason to I might do another video on that sometime but I will plug this in here the light is on the radio is on and I will just show you here the voltage um, uh, of the radio it gets from the battery eliminator okay here we go it is 8.1 for some reason it blinks after I do that sometimes here 8.1 volts so it has a solid um, power okay let's get to 2 meters let's go to 2 meters and see here okay now this is with the battery eliminator 2 meters low power okay yes it was on SWR no SWR there okay it's a bit more than 1 watt okay I think it performs a bit better let's see on high power this should be 8 watts first of all a, a nice thing to note is that it only has two power settings it doesn't have three power settings um, like other 8 watt uh, models uh, low medium and high this only has low and high okay now let's see on two meters here a bit less than four watts exactly the same as with its own button now it's connected to the uh, 12 volt 12 volt um, power source let's go to uh, 70 centimeters on low focus here okay 70 centimeters on low one and a half watt and here see the bottom of the three white lines the bottom one is the one we care about okay 70 centimeters on high there we go around six watts more than five anyway as you can see this is not an 8 watt radio even though it is connected to a 12 volt, volt power supply with a battery eliminator uh, it is however a very nice radio I think it, it, they just uh, printed stickers uh, for uh, the 5 watt UV82's it is a very nice radio it has improved sensitivity which is a nice thing for Baofengs uh, the um, signal meter here uh, the signal indicator I should say not single signal meter it does uh, show different bars depending on the signal I don't know how accurate it is but it is better than the U the older UV82 uh, which um, it was just a static icon with five, five bars no matter how strong the signal was um, and it has a nice modulation nice audio and everything it is a really nice radio it is just not 8 watts the UV82HP that might be 
8 watts. I haven't, I, I don't have one uh, to do a test right now. I might get one though. Uh, this one is definitely not. So if you see UV82 uh, models uh, marked uh, as 8 watts, uh, and especially if they don't mention having three power settings, low, medium, and high, then I think they might not be uh, 8 watts. Okay, that was it for uh, now. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. Uh, like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel for more ham radio uh, reviews. And 73. Thank you very much.